Let's make some room. Okay, the two new equations that I created. And this one. Now, how can I eliminate something? If I multiply the green equation by negative 3, that will eliminate x, right? Okay. Let's scoot it up so we have some room here. Okay. So I'm going to multiply this equation by negative 3. The red equation does not change. Green equation becomes negative 3x minus 27z equals 90. My x is eliminated. I've got negative what? 19z equals positive 76. Finally, we're seeing a light. Divide both sides by negative 19. <laughs> Z equals negative 4. All right, I have found Z. Could I plug this back into either here or here and find X? Okay. Let's plug it into this one right here. x plus 9 times negative 4. Now that's a first. What just occurred? Is my messing with me? I got the voodoo hex on it. Okay. I'm scared to touch the board now. X plus 9 times negative 4 equals negative 30. X minus 36 equals negative 30. Add 36 to both sides. X is 6. So if X is 6 and Z is negative 4... I can just come back right here and just plug X in and figure out what Y is, right? Wait, okay. What'd you, what'd you plug it into the first time? One of the two new equations that I created. Okay. It doesn't have to be that one. It can be another one. I could have even plugged it in right here and figured out what Y was. As long as it's an equation that only has one other variable, so you can find which you can find the other variable. All right, so we're finishing off here. If x is equal to, I forgot, 6, then using this equation, 6 plus 2y equals 12. Subtract 6 from both sides and divide by 2. So y was equal to 3. x was 6, y was 3, z was negative 4. Right here. When I found z, I plugged it into this equation and I solved for x. Once I have x and z, equal. 
My board is going crazy. I can plug it back to any one of these. I could have plugged Z in here and figured out what Y was here. I plugged X in here, figured out what I could have plugged X and Z into this equation and figured out what Y was. I have options. Okay? So we may not all do the same thing. This is confusing, isn't it? It's very long and it's very tedious. And I don't think it's confusing because of the process. What's confusing is the going back and the forth. Back and forth, back and forth. All right? So you've got to establish some sort of pattern. Choose two equations. Choose the next two equations and eliminate. Solve for two variables and then plug back in. Okay? Look on page 139. Page 139. They want to start a, a fresh new piece of paper. Now I want you looking in the book with me so that I don't have to write it all out on the board. Okay? I'm going to choose the first two equations. And I'm going to use elimination to get rid of... Let's get rid of, I don't know, y'all say something, X, Y, or Z? Z. Z, okay, let's get rid of Z. First two equations are X plus 2Y plus Z equals 10. And the second equation is 2X minus Y plus 3Z. equals negative 5. All right, Parker wants to get rid of z. So what do we have to do to what equation? Multiply the top by negative 3. Okay? So I've got negative 3x minus 6y minus 3z equals negative 30. Don't forget about that 10 over there. Nothing happened to the second equation. It stayed the same. Okay, my z terms are gone. I have negative x minus 7y equals negative 35. Does everybody see that? All right, so I've taken care of step one. Now I'm going to look at the next two equations. 2x minus y plus 3z equals negative 5. And the third equation was 2x minus 3y minus 5z equals 27. Now I have to get rid of z again. Okay? I've already gotten rid of z. I have to stick with the same letter. What do I have to do to get rid of it this time? Multiply the top by 5 and the bottom by just 3. It's already plus and minus. Okay? So, I've got 10x minus 5y plus 15z equals negative 25. 6x minus 9y minus 15z equals 81. And again, your z's are gone. It doesn't have to be z. But whichever one you get rid of the first time, you have to get rid of it again the second time. You have to stick with the same letter. So now we have 16x minus 14y equals positive 56. 